Hey guys, it's Supposed Video Walsh here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you the LEGO M4A1. And just before we get straight into the features of it, I just want to say if you enjoyed that little clip at the start of the video, leave a like, and if you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. But anyway, let's get straight into the features of my new M4. So, this M4 is kind of based around the Rainbow Six Siege Operator, uh, Jaeger, or Jagger, if you noobs don't know how to say it, uh, it's called Jaeger, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so it's this 416C carbine, or it's just a standard M4, I just call it a standard M4, so, um, yeah, let's get straight into it, so here we have a telescoping stock, so it's first position, pretty strong, it's its medium position or second position, doesn't move. It's last position, doesn't do anything. All good right there. Um, let's get to the safety, non-working safety. It's ambidextrous. Maybe you can see that little bit moving. Yeah, you can. Um, but on this side, it's a little different. As you can see, it's pointing out the white dots and then two red dots just there for semi-auto and then the four red dots for full auto. So it's a pretty simple thing, but it took me quite a while just because, you know, all the trigger and rubber bands are in the way. And we have a nice, comfortable grip. It came standard with my old Lego guns. Pretty nice with a 2x2 uh, two two slope. Uh, which is dividing the ring finger and the pinky finger apart from the middle finger. The trigger is a nice custom trigger that I did for myself. It's just made with one of those one by two high arch pieces. Um, let's get to the charging handle now, so the upper receiver. As you can see, it has a little red bit right here, so. I do Bucks animation, is where like he does that and then puts the mag in. And this is when you completely run out of ammo. And then he grabs it just by this little bit right here with his whole hand like this and just pulls straight back. Just That's a pretty nice feature. Or you can just like that. Easy. Um, so here is the ejection port. And you pull back the charging handle. Pull back on the bolt. Um, on this side we have a bolt lock just here, so let me pull the bolt back and just hold it. And now I just pull this thing out and that's locked. Yep. See how it's locked? This is how you can tell when it's locked on most ARs. This the charging handle is just free. You know, until you press it. Uh, which it slams forward again uh, using rubber band. Here we have the dust cover, which just closes up in front of it, and then you can just put it straight back down. We have the brass deflector, so instead of making the shells go back this way, they more or less go out that way. Um, we have the forward assist. Uh, I don't, I don't think I've ever included a brass deflector or a forward assist on any of my M4s in the past, apart from the the working one that I've done recently, the the one before this one. <coughs> Excuse me, but um yeah, but it also it just adds that extra bit of detail that it looks really nice and like a real one. But uh yeah, I just really like that feature on it. So here we have the magazine. Fake bullet on top with the magazine release. Having to have a spring inside of it to power it. That jumps back into place. Just like that. I was going to try and go for lightning cuts, but then I found out that the receiver was too small than what I had to make it, so I just I didn't make it. Um, we have a whole row of band and a beam. Trust me, there's there's a bunch of 15 long beams going straight through this thing, right into the receiver right here, which connects the handguard to the actual receive a bit. 
Um, we have a Picatinny rail on top, two on the sides and one on the bottom. And we have a front fibre optic sight. And these are the usual H&K sights, just without the fibre optic bit. I'll give you a look down them. Let me just close up the stock a bit more. There you go. So they're pretty nice iron sights. Uh, we do have a bit more sights that we will get into and a bit more attachments. But uh, yeah, uh, we have a little snub nose barrel. Uh, the barrel used to be about this long. And then I found out if I shorten it, it's going to look like Jaeger's uh, 416C. So I did that and it it pretty much looks like that. Especially with, the, uh, with some of the attachments that I am going to attach onto it. Which I uh, will now accept. Disclaimer, one of them is not in Rainbow Six Siege. But anyway, I will do it now. So this is the customised uh, 416C or the M4. So it features a drum mag. I try to make the bullet on top as best as I could with the amount of pieces remaining. Because this is the last thing I made. Um, stock's all the same. Everything's the same except for like this. The red dot, the angled foregrip, and the flash hider. So, the red dot sight slash the reflex sight in Rainbow Six Siege. Just give you a quick look down it. As you can see, it's pretty nice, you know, casual look down sight. Uh, we have the angled foregrip, which is pretty nice. It's a uh, very, very nice detail. Uh, first angled foregrip ever made. Uh, that I've made for Lego guns and definitely is the most comfortable. And then we have the birdcage flash hider. If you remember this from my uh, my Shy Tac M200, um, this is the same one except I made it again, uh, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> so um, yeah, there is one more sight, and it is the ACOG. So I'll just remove the reflex real quick. And I'll put on the ACOG. There's the ACOG. That's that's the best ACOG I could make with the remaining pieces that I had. And I try to make it like like a a, a skeleton skeletonized edition with like a C3 bit down here. Um, it does look pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty nice. You can look down it. Pretty good ACOG. Probably the best one I've made so far. We have uh, the little mobs. Couldn't find the turntable, so like to make them turn, but you know that's life. Uh, don't always guess what you want, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, um, you know, like the video. If you, if you, uh, you know, enjoyed the video, like it. But if you really loved it, make sure to subscribe, and when you subscribe, turn on the notification bell to get notified of all my future uploads coming to YouTube, because there will be some this Christmas. Uh, hopefully around, you know, after Christmas, you know. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. But if you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notification bells. And anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!